You idiots. You're a bunch of jokers is what you are. Uko! Kutumpa. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Well hi guys. Um very quickly, there's something that uh, I think that, as as you know, as is my custom, anytime you come across a headline or a video clip that piques your attention, you want to comment on that. And, and that's what we do. We are social commentators. I always get amused when people say to me, but well, why must you talk about everything? Well, the truth is, I only talk about things that I'm interested in or things that that i i want to comment on i do not speak on every single solitary topic because i'm not a jack of all trades you must understand that so last night i was looking at a video clip of the former minister of lusaka province uh bowman lusambo movie tv seems to they like him a lot and I think he's on movie, he was on movie TV. And he made reference to the current political angst within the country, the political environment in the country. He said, Bowman said, if the elections were to be held today, according to him, he feels that the current administration, the UPND, would lose. And then the interviewer very cleverly asked him, he, he said, uh, well, who, who would run? Who would be the presidential candidate on the PF ticket if elections were to be held today? And Bowman Lusambo walked into that trap. He said, oh, of course, it would be Edgar Lungo. We have been saying this. And not when I say we, you've been saying it. I've been saying it. Everybody that names the name of this nation as their country has been saying it. Every well-meaning citizen in this, in this nation has been saying it that there is a clandestine undercover operation that is hatched by people that call themselves loyalists to Mr. Lungu and Mr. Lungu alone that are trying everything within their power to bring back this man as their sole candidate on the PF ticket in 2026. That's the goal. In their minds, they don't, they don't think that anyone else can fill those shoes. And there are several reasons for that. I'll, only, I'll highlight two reasons. This cluster, this small group of people that are comprised of Bowman Lusambo, Bakam Piongo, Rafael Savimbi Nakachinda, and many others like him. These guys, in their minds, feel that Edgar Lungu is the only unifying factor within the, the, within the PF. He is the glue. According to them, former President Lungu is the only glue that can hold the party together, number one. That's what they think. 
Secondly, they feel that Ed Golongo, former President Ed Golongo, is the only person that can galvanize and raise the money they need in order to run a nationwide campaign. Now, remember, in this day and age, it's, it's very different from what it was back many years ago during the MMD. Today, in 2023, for you to run a successful presidential campaign, for you to run a successful nationwide campaign that covers all the provinces, all the districts, every single representative in the country, you need at least 10 to 15 million dollars to do that. In their minds, they think that it's only Edgar Lungu that can do that. Number three, and this is the most important thing, the reason these people think that only Edgar can do this is because they are still furious. They're still so angry. They are bitter beyond description that Mr. Lungu lost to HH. They hate that. It is a bitter taste in their mouths. They hate it so much so that when they wake up in the morning, the very first thing they do is they, they hit themselves against the wall and they say, how could this happen? How could power slip through our fingers? How could all of a sudden this man that we campaigned against, we crisscrossed this whole nation and we told our people that this man named Hagainde Hichilema should not, must not, will not become president. But then all of a sudden the Zambian people woke up in August and they did the exact opposite of what we asked them to do how can this be emotionally that's where the pf are they can't believe it and so because of that because of that in their minds they feel the only person that they can float is Edgar Lungu in their minds because what it is it's an effort it is a ploy it is machinations to take back what they think is rightfully theirs by birthright and this is the sinister insidious draconian attitude of the pf the not the notorious patriotic front in their minds the presidency is their birthright the patriotic front the npf the notorious patriotic front do not think of service they don't think in their minds they don't realize that when you are elected a president you're elected to serve and you have a tenure they don't realize that what they think in their minds is that this was our god-given right and someone stole it from us you bunch of jokers You bunch of idiots. Kutumpoko. Mle umfwa. When you serve as president, it's not your God-given birthright. It's an opportunity to serve the people of this nation. That's what it is. Are you hearing that? So here it is. Let me let me throw this up here. Let's for a moment talk about the political angst in Zambia right now. And mark my words and make no mistake, there is a political rising angst in this nation. The word angst simply means tension, anxiety, fear. Why? Because we have created an environment where a certain group of people feel that they they can do 
everything within their power to return and to retain not retain sorry retain means to keep they will do everything within their power to regain that's the word i was looking for there it is to regain power and and let me say this and mark my words this is not a prophecy this is just common sense if former president lungo returns to active politics many people here it is i'll throw it up here many people will die are you hearing that somebody may ask the question well, well how do you know that or well, what makes you think that it's very simple these kadas these pf kadas and these upnd kadas in 2026 there will be an outright kada war and ababa dumendo na abakashia na aba aba itati ama kadas ababa fuala ama colors yaba color green na color red mu 2026 balungu ngababa chita reinstate as the sole pf candidate on the pf ticket bwana <laughs> Mukala fuange nkoko. Mantu baka, baka, baka la ipa ya fi. Baka la ipa ya na. These chaps. They, they have no sense of service. They don't think of the future. It's all about them. The PF kadas that lost power are hell bent to regain it because they missed the lives that they led when they were in power they miss it and they are jealous they are green with envy when they look at the upnd and they say oh they took it away from us. They they took a way of life away from us. We used to flash money all over the show. We used to drive a Mercedes Benz along Cairo Road with a boot full of money. Fuebe ne vale tutina. Edo va UPND va va isa va wina and they've taken away our way of life. We must do everything within our power to regain it, and the only person we can use to regain it, according to the PF, is my Edgar Lungu. Now, my admonition to Mr. Lungu: If you love this nation. <laughs> You will put an, a, a, an end to this nonsense. Are you hearing me? Let me say that again. If former President Lungu loves this nation, if you love Mother Zambia, if you put service before selfish ambition, because let's face it mr lungu you've served you've served seven years you live a very palatial life a former president lives a life that the average zambian doesn't live your medicals are taken care of once a year you can go to any destination in the world you can go to louisiana you can go to shreveport baton rouge you can go to madagascar you can go to south alabama you can go anywhere in the world once a year. You, your, your house is taken care of. The government builds you a brand new, huge, massive, palatial home. Your, your security is taken care of. You're living the life. You are 66 years old. You have served seven years of your life to this nation. You've given seven years of your, of your life to this nation. And here you are. You're listening to idiots like Ichiru Fiatayali. You're listening to child molesters like Chilufia Tayali. 
You're listening to vagabonds like Rafael Nakachinda. You're listening to bottom feeders like Boman Lusambo. And you say that you love this nation? No, sir. Introspection is what you need. You need to sit down with Mama Esther and say, honey, is this the way we want to go? Is this the legacy we want to leave behind? Those are the questions you need to ask yourself. Because let me tell you, Mr. Former President, your decision to return to active politics is going to cause a variety of damage. You know why? Because you're not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be there. You've got no legal right. You've got no, no constitutional right. You have no moral right to run again for president after having been, been, sw been sworn in twice and serving seven years. If you decide to run for president in 2026, you'll be 70 years old, Mr. President, Mr. Former President. And you, you're going to wallow in the cesspool of controversy at 70 years old. No, sir, you should be in Hawaii somewhere. You should be in Mfue National Park, driving through the jungle, you know, shooting pigeons and enjoying tea on the coast of the Zambezi with your family. That's what you should be doing. Why? Because you've served. Everything that's happening right now in the patriotic front, in the, in the NPF, everything is being done for selfish reasons. Boman Lusambo sits in front of a camera on television and says, if elections were to be uh, uh, conducted today, the UPND and HH can lose. Lose against who? Uh, Mr. Lungu. If uh, President Lungu stood on it, that ship has sailed. That boat left the dock two years ago. Who wants to sit here and talk about the past? That is water under a bridge. Accept it. What you guys need to do, galvanize. Select a brand new crop of leaders that will push your agenda forward. Select a new leader now so that by the time 2025, 2026 rolls around, you can begin to proselytize and preach your crazy message. But here it is, you're stuck in time. You're stuck in time. I did wait it up. I did wait it up. I did wait. You idiots. You're a bunch of jokers is what you are. Uko kutumpa. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.